Two of the following videos are true, while the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Round one, let's begin. First up, take four magnets like these and place them spread out on a table with all north poles facing upwards. Then flip the polarity of two magnets so that their south poles are facing up. Then combine them into a square like this so they have alternating north and south poles. Next, take some pencil graphite and break off a small piece. If you place that graphite directly in the center of the magnets, you'll see that the graphite will levitate above the magnets. This device has two tubes and a chamber below that you can seal with this plastic paint. If I place a few ice cubes inside the container and seal it up, the cold ice cubes cause the air to contract. You can see this more clearly if I burn some incense just to produce some visible smoke. When I blow it out and stick it near the entrance of the tube, you can see that the smoke is being pulled down the tube by convection current. This is a two liter soda bottle filled with salt as well as a bunch of blue and white plastic beads. I'll add about 250 milliliters of water to this bottle and shake it up so that the water becomes saturated with salt. Next, I'm gonna add 70% isopropyl alcohol until the container is almost entirely full. Once that's done and I seal it, I can now shake the bottle vigorously before placing it down and you see that the less dense white beads float to the top, while the denser blue beads sink to the bottom. Then if I leave this bottle at rest, the white beads will slowly sink and the blue beads will slowly rise until they meet in the middle. You've now seen all three videos and it's time to pause to vote in the comments for which one you thought was fake. It turns out it's true that adding isopropyl alcohol to salt water will cause the beads to behave like this. Looking at the end result, the clear liquid above the beads is the isopropyl alcohol which has the lowest density, followed by the white beads, then the blue beads, and at the bottom is the salt water with the highest density. However, when you shake it up, the isopropyl alcohol and the salt water will temporarily mix. The density of this mixture is between that of the blue and white beads. However, this mixture of isopropyl alcohol and saturated salt water aren't soluble with one another. So, over time, the isopropyl alcohol and the salt water will separate. That brings the isopropyl alcohol back to the top and causes the salt water to fall back to the bottom. Did you think you could levitate something without electricity? Well nice job because this is legit and it works even better with a thin piece of pyrolytic graphite like this, which is basically a more pure form of graphite. This showcases diamagnetic levitation where the relatively strong diamagnetism of this material is repelled by the magnetic field of the magnets. That means ice cubes won't cause smoke to be sucked down the tube. I actually swapped out the ice cubes for a lit candle. The heat from the candle causes air to rise out the tube, which does pull the smoke down the other one. So convection currents did cause the smoke to fall, but the ice cube portion of the screen was just overlaid to make it look like they were responsible. 